In today's news headlines, three individuals lost their lives in West Milan. An up-and-coming dancehall artist was among three individuals who lost their lives early Saturday morning during an incident in West Moreland. Reports from the police are that the incident occurred close to 8 a.m. on Darling Street in the parish. Investigators were on the scene and they have confirmed that the incident took the life of the dancehall artist Paparazzi. Paparazzi started creating a buzz on the local music scene in 2019. He was previously a popular party promoter in the island's western parish. Later, he worked with Chronic Law. At the time of his passing, Paparazzi had been working on a collaboration with Javelani. Paparazzi leaves behind a youth who lives in the United States. The identities of the other individuals who passed away during the incident have not yet been ascertained. A man known as Macri lost his life in Clarendon recently after unscrupulous individuals interrupted a domino game. Police are currently investigating Thursday's incident in Monimus Clarendon which took the life of one man and caused two other persons to be hurt. The man who passed away has been identified as 39-year-old Oral Coleman, also known as Mackerel of Money Musk housing scheme in the parish. Reports from the Maven police are that, close to 7.45 p.m., Coleman was among a group of men playing dominoes when dangerous individuals pounced and opened shellings at them. After the shellings incident subsided and the dangerous individuals escaped, Coleman was found with multiple holes from dangerous tools, while two other persons were seen with minor injuries. They were taken to the hospital where Coleman was pronounced by the medical team. A motive for this shelling's incident has not yet been ascertained by the police in Clarendon. According to police reports, eight individuals lost their lives between Friday and Saturday. As Jamaica's loss of life total spirals out of control, Police indicate that eight persons were taken out between Friday and Saturday. Four of the loss of lives were recorded in St. James, three in St. Catherine, and two in Clarendon. According to the CCU, it is reported that dangerous individuals struck in the community of Flankers in St. James and opened shellings taking out a man known as Smith. Two other men were hurt during the incident as well. The three men were walking home close to 10.20 p.m. when the dangerous individuals pounced upon them. They were treated at the hospital. A few hours before that, the owner of a car wash at Longville Park in Clarendon lost his life as a result of a dangerous encounter with a lone, unscrupulous individual at his place of business. He was later identified as 30-year-old Ricardo Williams. A sharp tool was used to take the life of 50-year-old Orlando Brown of Sangster's Heights in Clarendon. The incident occurred close to 8.30 p.m. on Friday. Residents reported that they heard loud sounds crying for assistance, and when they followed the sound, it led them to a gully where Mr. Brown was found with multiple holes from a dangerous tool. According to the police in Portmore St. Catherine, they were also kept busy when dangerous individuals took out 20-year-old Ramesh Spence, a construction worker of Twickenham Park. Mr. Spence, who is also called Knox or Tony, was hurt during a shelling's incident as he was walking home from work. The trail of this sadness continued its way to Hendon Norwood in St. James when a dangerous individual opened shelling's on a Dane Hunter also called Predem, as he walked in the community on Saturday. On Saturday, these dangerous individuals struck in Nago Head St. Catherine, taking out a 39-year-old technician, Karen McCollin, as he was walking in the community at 1 p.m. The dangerous individuals also took out 43-year-old Shefton Miles, a sales clerk of Shane Drive, Gregory Park St. Catherine. Mr. Miles lost his life in Portmore Villa. According to the police, residents heard loud sounds and when they arrived on the scene, Mr. Miles was found lying on the ground. 
A disagreement between two handcart vendors at the Market Circle in Montego Bay, St. James, ended on Saturday with one person passing away as a result of the other using a sharp instrument to take his life. The man has been identified as 22-year-old Kemar Hafendam, also called Red Plate. According to reports, the San Andreas Central Police are currently investigating the passing of District Constable Okina Orton. Orton, who worked with the Course Division in Kingston, was found without his life in his motor vehicle in Mona, San Andrew. According to reports, close to 9.30 p.m., Horton was found in his black Toyota Corolla on Buttercup Drive. The police were alerted and upon their arrival, they noticed that Mr. Horton was hurt during a shelling incident. We would like to extend our condolences to the families and friends of the individuals who lost their lives recently. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Please remember that your security is your top priority. Goodbye.